Mamordakachara NTIA, Wikipedia article audio. Mamordakachara NTIA, known as bitter melon, bitter gourd, bitter squash, or balsam pear, is a tropical and subtropical vine of the family Cucurbitaceae, widely grown in Asia, Africa, and the Caribbean for its edible fruit. Its many varieties differ substantially in the shape and bitterness of the fruit. It is sometimes known by names loaned from Asian languages. It is called Kerala or Kareli in Hindi. Alternative Names Description Varieties Culinary Uses Traditional Medicinal Uses Adverse Effects Pregnancy Gallery Plant Dishes and other uses Bitter melon originated in India and was introduced into China in the 14th century. It is widely used in East Asian, South Asian, and Southeast Asian cuisine. Bitter melon also has names in other languages which have entered English as loan words, e.g. kugwa from Chinese, naigari from Japanese, goya from Okinawan, kerala in Gujarati, karla in Marathi, kaipaka slash pavaka in Malayalam, kakarakeya in Telugu, hagala in Kannada, pakal slash pavaka in Tamil and kerala or kareli, in Sinhala, karavila, in Hindustani, kerala in Assamese, coming from Sanskrit. In Bengali, it is also known as Kerala. Those from the Caribbean island of Jamaica commonly refer to the plant as Ciraci. In Brazil this plant is called St. Cajetan's Melon. In Guiana the plant is referred to as Corolla. In the Philippines it is called Ambalaya or Amargoso. In Indonesia it is called Peria, Peria, or Pear. And in the Republic of Suriname it is called Sapropo. This herbaceous, tendril-bearing vine grows up to 5 m in length. It bears simple, alternate leaves 412 cm across, with 3 to 7 deeply separated lobes. Each plant bears separate yellow male and female flowers. In the Northern Hemisphere, flowering occurs during June to July and fruiting during September to November. The fruit has a distinct warty exterior and an oblong shape. It is hollow in cross-section, with a relatively thin layer of flesh surrounding a central seed cavity filled with large, flat seeds and pith. The fruit is most often eaten green, or as it is beginning to turn yellow. At this stage, the fruit's flesh is crunchy and watery in texture, similar to cucumber, chayote, or green bell pepper, but bitter. The skin is tender and edible. Seeds and pith appear white in unripe fruits, they are not intensely bitter and can be removed before cooking. Some sources claim the flesh becomes somewhat tougher and more bitter with age but other sources claim that at least for the common Chinese variety the skin does not change and bitterness decreases with age. The Chinese variety are best harvested light green possibly with a slight yellow tinge or just before. The pith becomes sweet and intensely red, it can be eaten uncooked in this state, and is a popular ingredient in some Southeast Asian salads. When the fruit is fully ripe, it turns orange and mushy, and splits into segments which curl back dramatically to expose seeds covered in bright red pulp. Bitter melon comes in a variety of shapes and sizes. The cultivar common in China is 20-30 cm long, oblong with bluntly tapering ends and pale green in color, with a gently undulating, warty surface. The bitter melon more typical of India has a narrower shape with pointed ends, and a surface covered with jagged, triangular teeth and ridges. It is green to white in color. 
Between these two extremes are any number of intermediate forms. Some bear miniature fruit of only 6-10 cm in length, which may be served individually as stuffed vegetables. These miniature fruit are popular in Bangladesh, India, Pakistan, Nepal, and other countries in South Asia. The subcontinent variety is most popular in Bangladesh and India. Bitter melon is generally consumed cooked in the green or early yellowing stage. The young shoots and leaves of the bitter melon may also be eaten as greens. In Chinese cuisine, bitter melon is valued for its bitter flavor, typically in stir fries, soups, dim sum, and herbal teas. It has also been used in place of hops as the bittering ingredient in some beers in China and Okinawa. Bitter melon is very popular throughout India. In North Indian cuisine, it is often served with yogurt on the side to offset the bitterness, used in curry such as sabzi or stuffed with spices and then cooked in oil. In South Indian cuisine, it is used in the dishes thoran slash thivaran, mezukapuriti, thiyal, and pashadi. Other popular recipes include preparations with curry, deep fried with peanuts or other ground nuts, and pachipulusu, a soup with fried onions and other spices. In Karnataka, which is known as Hagalakai in Kannada language similarly in Tamil Nadu, it is known as Pagarka or Pavakai in Tamil, a special preparation called Pagarkai Pitla, a kind of sour kuto, variety is very popular. Also popular is Kata Pagarkai, a curry that involves stuffing with onions, cooked lentil, and grated coconut mix, tied with thread and fried in oil. In the Konkan region of Maharashtra, Salt is added to finely chopped bitter gourd, known as karl in Marathi, and then it is squeezed, removing its bitter juice to some extent. After frying this with different spices, the less bitter and crispy preparation is served with grated coconut. It's known as karate in Goa, it's valued for its health benefits and used widely in Goan cuisine. In northern India and Nepal, Bitter melon, known as tight kerala in Nepali, is prepared as a fresh pickle. For this, the vegetable is cut into cubes or slices, and sautéed with oil and a sprinkle of water. When it is softened and reduced, it is crushed in a mortar with a few cloves of garlic, salt, and a red or green pepper. It is also eaten sautéed to golden brown, stuffed, or as a curry on its own or with potatoes. In Sri Lanka, it is known as Karavila in Sinhala and is an ingredient in many different curry dishes which are served mainly with rice in a main meal. Sometimes large grated coconut pieces are added, which is more common in rural areas. Karavila juice is also sometimes served there. In Pakistan, known as Kerala in Urdu-speaking areas, and Bangladesh, known as Korola in Bengali, bitter melon is often cooked with onions, red chili powder, turmeric powder, salt, coriander powder, and a pinch of cumin seeds. Another dish in Pakistan calls for whole, unpeeled bitter melon to be boiled and then stuffed with cooked minced beef served with either hot tandoori bread, naan, chap patty, or with kikri. Bitter melon, known as goya in Okinawan, and naigari in Japanese, is a significant ingredient in Okinawan cuisine, and is increasingly used in Japanese cuisine beyond that island. It is popularly credited with Okinawan life expectancies being higher than the already long Japanese ones. In Indonesian cuisine, bitter melon, known as pear in Javanese and Indonesian, is prepared in various dishes, such as gado gado, and also stir-fried, cooked in coconut milk, or steamed. In Christian areas in eastern Indonesia it is cooked with pork and chili, 
the sweetness of the pork balancing against the bitterness of the vegetable. In Vietnamese cuisine, raw bitter melon slices known as mu, pd, ng or kh. Qua in Vietnamese, eaten with dried meat floss and bitter melon soup with shrimp are popular dishes. Bitter melons stuffed with ground pork are served as a popular summer soup in the South. It is also used as the main ingredient of stewed bitter melon. This dish is usually cooked for the tea, tea holiday, where its bitter name is taken as a reminder of the bitter living conditions experienced in the past. In Thai cuisine, the Chinese variety of green bitter melon, Mara in Thai, is prepared stuffed with minced pork and garlic, in a clear broth. It is also served sliced, stir-fried with garlic and fish sauce until just tender. In the cuisine of the Philippines, bitter melon, known as ambalaya in Tagalog, and peria in Ilocano, may be stir-fried with ground beef and oyster sauce, or with eggs and diced tomato. The dish pinakbit popular in the Ilocos region of Luzon, consists mainly of bitter melons, eggplant, okra, string beans, tomatoes, lima beans, and other various regional vegetables all stewed together with a little bagu-based stock. In Trinidad and Tobago, bitter melons, known as cara isle or carali, are usually sautéed with onion, garlic, and scotch bonnet pepper until almost crisp. In Mauritius, bitter melons are known as margos or margos. They have been in use for a very long time in Hindu medicine or Ayurveda. Bitter melon has been used in various Asian and African herbal medicine systems for a long time. In Turkey, it has been used as a folk remedy for a variety of ailments, particularly stomach complaints. In traditional medicine of India, Different parts of the plant are used as claimed treatments for diabetes, and as a stomachic, laxative, antibilious, emetic, anthelmintic agent, for the treatment of cough, respiratory diseases, skin diseases, wounds, ulcer, gout, and rheumatism. Mamordicachara NTIA has a number of purported uses including cancer prevention, treatment of diabetes, fever, HIV, and AIDS, and infections. While it has shown some potential clinical activity in laboratory experiments, further studies are required to recommend its use. In 2012, the germ plasm and chemical constituents, such as momortison within several varieties of the gourd, were being studied. For fever reduction and relief of menstrual problems, there is no scientific research to back these claims. For cancer prevention, HIV, and AIDS, and treatment of infections, there is preliminary laboratory research, but no clinical studies in humans showing a benefit. In 2017, the University of Paradanilla researchers revealed that bitter gourd seeds can be potentially used to destroy cancer cells and they were successfully administered to patients in Candy General Hospital Cancer Unit. With regard to the use of Mamordicachara NTIA for diabetes, several animal studies and small-scale human studies have demonstrated a hypoglycemic effect of concentrated bitter melon extracts. In addition, a 2014 review shows evidence that Mamordicachara NTIA, when consumed in raw or juice form, can be efficacious in lowering blood glucose levels. However, multiple reviews have found that Mamordicachara NTIA does not significantly decrease fasting blood glucose levels or A1C, indicators of blood glucose control when taken in capsule or tablet form. Mamordicachara NTIA may be beneficial in diabetes, however, the effects seem to depend on how it is consumed. More studies need to be performed in order to verify this effect.
The Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center concludes that bitter melon cannot be recommended as a replacement therapy for insulin or hypoglycemic drugs. Reported side effects include diarrhea, abdominal pain, fever, hypoglycemia, urinary incontinence, and chest pain. Symptoms are generally mild, do not require treatment, and resolve with rest. Bitter melon is contraindicated in pregnant women because it can induce bleeding, contractions, and miscarriage. Plant Leaf bud Leaves and flower Flowers Female flower Male flower Two days old fruit with flower Three days old fruit 10 days old fruit Immature fruit Immature fruit Unripe fruits Seeds Bitter melon plant growing in a container Commercial crop of bitter melon is grown on trellises made out of plastic netting. Alo Kerala Bhaji, bitter gourd and potato dish, from India. Bitter gourd dish with sauce. Bitter gourd cleaned and sliced for cooking. Bitter gourds being fried in Kaohsiung, Taiwan. An Indonesian style bitter gourd dish, cooked with sambal, onion, and red bird's eye chili peppers. Filipino ampalaya con carne with egg, la familia of Bailey Uag, Bulacan. Bitter Gourd Food Supplement Capsules Okinawan Style Goya Chan Puru, a stir-fried dish Bitter Gourd Fry with Potato